black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. On today's video, we're going to make an attempt, and this is an attempt at some Asian style with all these sauces pork back ribs. So we got a half rack here, got a knife, got a paintbrush, got a scallion. We got soy, we got sesame, we got oyster, we got ginger, lemongrass, we have something from Italy over here being red hot chili peppers, and then toasted sesame seeds and a half rack of ribs. We're going to make this in the best way that I know how to make ribs, and that's low and slow, but very easy. Okay, so here's the easy part. Get yourself a baking sheet, tray, whatever. I have a little deep dish tray here. Aluminum foil mitigates mess. It's what you want. Get yourself your ribs and you toss them into that. Now we're going to season them. Of course, I have salt. We're going to do a gracious, is that even the right word? Gracious, a, a nice amount of salt, a, a liberal amount of salt. We definitely want to salt the pork for sure. And then come in with pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Okay, now, so anything else you want on this, you could put sugar, you could put other spices. It's up to you. I just want salt and pepper. That's how I like it. It's that simple for me. Quite literally, just take tin foil and trap in those ribs so that there's a steam element to this. All right, once your ribs are trapped, low and slow, 300 in here for, I would say, two and a half to three hours. Okay, so while that's happening, while that's cooking, we need to make sauce, and we need to make this sauce marinate for a while. So we need a little, a little dab of oyster, a little dab of oyster sauce, a little, little bit of sesame, just like that, a little sesame oil, ginger lemongrass, nice amount, a couple tablespoon. We need some soy. We definitely need some soy in here. But we also need to balance that soy, that salty, with the sweet. And that sweet is going to be from honey. So we need honey. And just a dash of white wine vinegar. Just a dash. Just to brighten things up. All right, so we whip that. And in order to make it really a sauce, cornstarch slurry. And there you have it, my friends. You got yourself a nice sauce coating for these ribs. So also in the meantime, we're gonna need to toast some seeds. You gotta toast your sesame seeds so that you can sprinkle them lighter. Okay, so got our ribs here, coming hot and steamy fresh out the oven. They need to be cut, slathered, and prepared. First things first is cut. VV tender, super easy. Right through the middle. Got the sticky sauce. I'm gonna paint it on a little bit here. And then we're going to put this in the broiler to get some coating, of course. We need it to coat. And then we're gonna redo the sauce as well and dress them up nice for dinner. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this and try to keep it professional. <laughs> rib one, rib two. Why am I Southern all of a sudden? I don't know. <laughs> rib three and rib four. And so we brush on some more of the sauce. Of course, we need that sticky sauce. All right, we've got our toasted sesame seeds right on top as a flavor additive. Of course, our little bit of green onion coming with that freshness of the green onion. And then these red chilies, a little bit of spice on top of the sweetness, a little heat on the sweet, right? And that's it, our tiny little plate of spare rib beauty here today, right? A little Asian spare rib, a little sweet heat Asian spare rib. And now we indulge. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Back in black with the floating head energy. It just is what it is. Today, we are keeping it calorie conscious. We are still trying to become more tender and more slender. So we just have a few ribs here, getting all chefy with it today, all right? 
Well, that doesn't look good. Those bones seem all charred, but it is what it is. That's what happens when you cook for a long time. Anyways, we have a sticky, sweet, hot, whatever you want to call it, Asian spare rib. I had ribs. I had stuff in my fridge that I got all chefy about. Like I just had all those kind of Asian -y ingredients and I was like, you know what? Let me try to make a non-traditional rib. Um, you know, barbecue sauce rib. Let, let, let me try to make more of a more of an Asian style rib. So here it is. Should be tender, should be good, should be delicious. Should we indulge? Yes, I think we should. All right, here we go. Come on. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm, come on. Fall apart. Fall off the bone. Amazingness. See? Comes right off. And here's why. It's so simple. You really don't have to do much. You just basically let it slowly steam and cook in that little container, All right? And then you flavor it. Mm, come on. A little bit of heat, a little bit of sweet. That ginger lemongrass. Mm. Mm -hmm. That ginger lemongrass. It's doing what it's supposed to. It's adding... um. Just adding layers, layers of flavor. The toasted sesame seed, definitely coming through. Come on, you know that's beautiful. Mm. Straight off the bone. I'm also happy that when I cut through them, that uh, the the meat didn't crumble and fall apart. It still held form, so that I could make you know what I mean, like a more nice clean edge. A more beautiful product. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. So much complexity, so many good things going on, but working together. Teammates, these are all teammates. There's just balance. They're hanging out. There's a forward, there's a defender, there's a midfield. I'm talking about soccer apparently when it comes to these teammates, but there's teammates. And they definitely work together to score a victorious goal because that was amazing. Very, very good. Give it a try. All right, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.